Welcome back to this five part series on strengthening of reinforced concrete beams with CFRP jacketing using Abacus. In first three videos, I talked about parts, property and assembly modules. If you have missed any of these videos, check them out somewhere around here. In this fourth video, I will talk about step, interaction, mesh and job modules. The series is divided into five parts. In first part, I will talk about creating geometry. Second is about material properties and sections. Third is about assembling those parts. Fourth is about meshing, loading, boundary conditions, contact interactions and job submission. Finally, fifth and last part is about viewing the results. This is a problem that I'm going to solve today. The details are given in this book. These are the material properties. Hey friends, if you're new here, I am Dr. Javed Qureshi, a senior lecturer at a London university. On this channel, we explore technical and human skills to help us lead more productive, happy and examine life. Fourth part is really important where we define steps and define contact interactions, loading module where we are going to define loading and boundary conditions, mesh module where we will create meshing for the model and job module where we will submit the model. The next step is a step module. Click on a step and here I'm going to define a new step named displacement. Static journal continue and here I'm going to activate nonlinear geometry i will keep everything as default here click ok a step has been defined this step has field output requests and it has history output requests for the time being i will keep everything as default and later i'm going to change this history output requests the next step is interaction in interaction i'm going to embed the reinforcing bars inside concrete slab and i'm going to embed cfrp bars inside jacketing and i'm going to tie up the bottom surface of concrete beam with the top surface of concrete jacketing so go to interaction double click on interaction first i want to tie up the surfaces of concrete beam and jacketing so i will say tie jb jacketing and beam click continue and here i will choose the master surface as bottom of concrete beam click on surface and here i will create display groups and go to parts i just want concrete beam and i will say replace and simply i will rotate it to choose this bottom surface and i will say by angle so that i can choose the entire surface in that way i've chosen the surface click done and the slave surface will be top of jacketing again go to display group let's get back go to display group and here i want to display jacketing i will say replace and surface click on this surface and i will keep everything as default in that way the bottom of concrete beam and top of jacketing have been tied the next is to embed reinforcement cage inside concrete beam i will double click on constraints and i will say embed bars and this will be embedded region click continue and here first i want to choose the reinforcement so click here here i simply want to display the, the reinforcement so starting from links all the way to all bars and here entire reinforcement is selected concrete beam and jacketing and cfrp bars are not selected i will simply say replace and here you can only see reinforcing cage so embedded region i will choose entire reinforcement cage click continue and then i will select the host region host region will be concrete beam again click on display groups here i will simply click the concrete beam i will say replace and select the region i will simply create a rectangle around this beam click continue and then i will keep everything as default in that way reinforcing bars stirrups they have been embedded inside concrete beam now i have to embed the cfrp bars inside jacketing so first i will display cfrp bars simply i will choose on these two bars and i will say replace and then i will go to constraint and say embed cfrp and embedded region click continue it will ask me for embedded region i will choose these two bars click done and then host region simply i will click here display groups and i will display jacketing replace it and here select region I will simply choose concrete jacketing. 
click done and then i will keep everything as default in that way i have embedded cfrp bars inside concrete jacketing once i have done this interaction and then i will go to load module where i will define the boundary conditions and loading to so go to load and then first i want to display the concrete beam and go to boundary conditions here i will say support and displacement rotation click continue i will choose the bottom lines for support so these two lines click here and press shift key click here and say pin and click done and here i want to define a pin support it means translation is limited in each direction but rotation is allowed click done i will go to manager and i want to create this in initial step click dismiss and then i want to create displacement i will say disp and displacement rotation click continue i will name here displacement and i will choose these two lines and click done and here i want to define a displacement of minus 50 millimeter it will apply downward displacement to this beam click done downward displacement has been applied note that i have applied this in displacement step once loading is done then i will move to mesh and here i want to mesh the parts not assembly so go to parts so first i want to start with concrete beam and click here to assign the mesh controls choose the beam click done and then i want hexagonal and a structured mesh and that will show a green color next thing i want to assign the elements choose the entire beam click done and here i want to assign the default reduce integration brick elements click done and then i want to seed the part and here the default is 100 but i want to seed the part with global size of 30 millimeter click done and then click on this button to match the part the next is concrete jacketing so i will click on concrete jacketing i will click on mesh controls hexagonal structured okay and then element types i will choose the element and reduce integration element brick elements this is fine click done and then seed the part i want to seed the part with 30 millimeter click done and then simply click on this button to match the part once this is done then i will match the link first so go to links and here mesh controls do not apply here even if you choose this i think it will not apply and i want to choose the trust elements click here and if you go down i want to choose this trust element for mesh and then i will seed the part i will seed it with 20 millimeter size and then simply i will mesh the part in the same way i will mesh bottom reinforcement and first i will choose the elements truss elements and then i will seed the part with say the same one 20 and then simply i will mesh the part in the same way i will go to cfrp bars and first i want to choose the elements elements are truss elements and then seed the part with 20 mm click done and then mesh the part click ok part has been meshed then i will go to top bar simply choose the elements and elements are truss elements and seed the elements with 20 mm and then simply i will mesh the part in that way i have meshed all the parts the next step is job module but before i go to job module i would like to define a history output so simply i will click on history output and manager and edit here i don't want energy i'm not interested in energy all i'm interested is in forces and i want to find out the deflection where i have applied the deflection i want to find reaction at that point so set set i will choose as i think i created the displacement and here i want to choose the displacement u in y direction in vertical direction and also i want to choose the forces total forces and i want to choose total force in two direction or y direction in that way i will be able to plot a load deflection curve click ok click dismiss again i want to double check whatever i've done it's fine yes these two values and then i will go to job module and define a new job i will say disp 50 and click continue and here 
uh, I will keep everything as default. In parallel processing, I will activate multiple processors. So if your computer has multiple processor, it will expedite the analysis. So here I will say maybe four and CGPU, I will say two. In that way, analysis is going to be quicker. Click done. And then I will set up the working directory and save the model. Then I will submit the model. Now it's displaying discontinuity iterations U. The reason is that because I applied load for one second and the initial increment was one second as well. So the software will quickly apply the loading, but certainly this kind of heavy loading can't be applied quickly. Then it will reduce the increments to 0 0.015 and then slowly recover the increments based on the stability of the analysis. You can see it has gone to 0.1. Then I will fast forward the analysis to show you the last increment. It can be seen that analysis has stopped after applying 0.27 of the applied displacement, which means 30% of the 50 millimeter displacement. There could be various reasons for that. In static analysis, what happens is that if you have lots of contact interactions, then st static analysis will struggle to give you results. In that way, the better option would be to use Abacus explicit analysis and apply the velocity really very slowly so that you can get the model running. And we are interested in here uh, static analysis results. So velocity has to be applied really very slowly. But for this problem, I am following what is done in the book. But this is something for you to consider when you are modeling it using Abacus Explicit. We are not done yet. In next video, I will show you how to view results and interpret them. Click here to check them out. If you have missed first three videos, then check them out over here.